Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket back with another software review video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to completely delete all of the data from your hard drive in order to sell it somewhere or give it to someone else, making it completely impossible, basically almost impossible, for the data to be recovered from it. So, let's get started. In order to do this, we're going to use a software called Active at Kill Disk for Mac OS. Also, there's a version compatible for Windows, so there are no worries in this case. Now, you may ask me, why do we have to use a software because we could use Windows or something? And obviously, yes, you're correct. There's a software for Windows and for Mac as well. For Mac, you need to use Util the Disk, and for Windows, you need to do something else. I cannot remember the, the software which does this. And I'm going to tell you the reason. So the reason being is that this software has a lot of features coming to it. So, so let's navigate to the website. So this is a website where it has, and let's scroll down to the features. So as you can see, it has all those features which the original programs for Mac and Windows which does this. It doesn't have all, or perhaps most of these features. So for example, something that I really like from this software is that it has so many different types of ways to fully erase hard drive, including the USA Department of Defense, which is very secure according to my knowledge, and so many others. And also something else I really like is that it has some disk inspection tools. You can literally see how your hard drive behaves while it's being deleted, and also what files are there in binary and things like this. That's a very uh, good tool for more advanced users who literally want to have full control of what is going on during the process, which is really cool to be honest. So enough with the waffle now, I'm going to go ahead and launch the software and show you how it works. If you have realized that my voice has changed a bit, it's because I have borrowed a microphone from a friend and it's a lot higher quality than what I'm using, because what I'm using is actually uh, some headphones, which is the quality is really bad. So from now on, I will be borrowing this microphone from a friend and do the videos that way, which is a lot better because he, do he doesn't actually need it. Okay, so uh, let's go through. So as you can see here, it shows you all the storage devices that you have connected to my computer. So in my case, I have one SSD attached to my computer. This is what I'm using right now. That's why it's called system disk. So this is a hard drive, not an SSD in this case. I am currently using. That's why I'm not allowed to delete this. And also I have inserted an SD card in my computer, which we're going to use to completely erase all the data in it. So we're going to fully remove all the data in my SD card. So I'm going to show you all the data that I have in there, which is nothing really important. So I have some files which I don't need anymore, so I want to get rid of them. Obviously, before doing that, you can like take them and then drag them to your desk or something in order to avoid losing your files. Okay, so let's go and do this. So before doing this, I'm going to show you briefly the tools here. So you have a disk viewer, which shows you exactly uh, in binary how your data is being stored. Actually, this is hexadecimal. Uh, and also you have an ASCII representation, a Unicode. So in case someone who has technical knowledge about how data being stored and represented in a storage device, then you can definitely use this tool. Well, I have no clue what is going on here. Going back to Disk Explorer, and then you can click on also File Browser. Literally tells you exactly uh, all the files that you have in your storage device. Something I need to mention is that you may see some files which are not in there. As you can see, you see some files which have a dot and underscore next to them. So these files are all invisible. So these are invisible to you. So you cannot see them in here unless you go to the command line and then type some where commands uh, giving you the opportunity to, to see them. So in order to completely wipe out all of the data, you need to select the storage device and then click on erase disk. And then you're going to see this window. So in this window, you have the option of what volume or whether you can you want to to erase the full disk or even part of the disk. So this is going to erase the whole storage device. And then you have the option to select all volumes. So this is going to select all volumes in there. Uh, all volumes are, are everything which is not black. Also, you have the option to, to select all unallocated space. And also something I really like is that you can select exact area of your storage device which you wish to be deleted. Uh, so I'm going to take these slides and then move them somewhere. So this is possible, so you can delete part of your unallocated uh, space. So in this case, let's select all disk space. Next, you need to decide which erase method you want to use in order to fully reset your hard drive. Now, something I forgot to mention is that this software is not 100% free. In order to get all of these methods, you need to buy the full version of the software. But if you haven't, then you can select either of one of those, only one pass. But please remember, the more passes there are, then the more time it takes for the software to wipe out all the data. 
Now I'm gonna choose the US Department of Defense to be passes so we can make things a lot quicker. Next something else I want to mention is about the certificate. Uh, so you can literally place a company logo in here and then you have the technician information. So if you're a technician, then you can click on the technician information. So you can type some comments. And also you have the erase report. And then this is going to be actually all the information about the erase. This is all the information about you, whether you're a technician or a company. And next, whenever you are ready, you can click on the start button and it's going to wipe up everything. Now, this is a confirmation window. Here you need to think again, twice or three times or four times, whether you are 100% sure you want to proceed this action because after that it's going to be almost impossible to recover your data. So it's, it's very simple, you have to type exactly what it says here. Okay, so right now all of it will be deleted within a couple of hours. So it's best to leave this overnight and then the next day you can come back and see what is going on. Also something else I need to mention is that you can do multiple things in parallel. So let's say in case I wanted to uh, erase this disk as well, I am I can do it. I can literally erase multiple disks at the same time, which is really, really cool. Now, I'm going to talk about something else. So I'm going to show you what is wipe disk. So wipe disk is going to wipe data which are unused. So this is all data that you haven't used or been useless for a long time. These are going to be deleted. So again, you can select all partitions, select all volumes. You have all, again those options. Again, if you are in the free version, you can only you have only access to those first two. Also here, you can choose which files to delete. So you have wipe unused clusters. So these are like some files, some corrupted files which are unused. Metadata and system file servers. So this is going to remove all those kind of files. And then uh, again, you have the certificate. Again, you can put your information in there, have the race report, and yes, yeah, uh, uh, once you're ready, you can click on start. And then again, the same story repeats. You have to wait for a couple of hours until this is going to be done. Okay, guys, so the process has been finished. So now right here it says validating, but this is nothing really serious, just a small bug on the software, so nothing really complicated. Right now, what you need to do is to simply close the program, so quit, quit, uh, kill disk, and then I'm going to take the... Uh, storage device, uh, take it out, eject it, and then put it back in. And then you should get this message. In Windows, you should get something like a window which asks you to format this memory stick or hard disk or whatever. So make sure to click on that. So I'm going to click on initialize. This is going to open disk utility. So this is my memory stick. Then I'm going to click on erase. And this actually is going to format it into a new format. So format is a way where data are represented. So actually those three formats are for Mac OS. Uh, this is MS-DOS, this is for Windows. I'm gonna click on Mac OS, no, actually I'm gonna click on XPAT. And I'm gonna leave it the scheme as much as put record and then I'm gonna click on this erase. And then it should take some time to uh, format the memory stick and it's done. And now I can finally, finally use my memory stick again and then I can uh, put some data in there so for example I can like put any kind of data in there so now it's actually usable again and let's actually go back to kill this so we can so I can show you that it recognize the memory stick and yep the same story repeats okay so that wraps the tutorial slash review for active kill disk Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button if you like this video, drop a comment, let me know what you think about this video, share this video to your friends, and as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new visit to this channel and you'd like to see more content like that. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.